Hello everyone, uh, welcome uh, to the new video about marijuana talk. Uh, today uh, I will be talking about uh, how to get yourself out of poverty line. Uh, this uh, video will share some of my personal experience on uh, how to start the online business and get yourself uh, from poverty line uh, with tight budget. So, uh, as I said, uh, I follow the system and I'm not 100% completely out, but I have a plan to get myself out of uh, poverty line. So, um, to share my, my personal experience, I will need first to, to light a joint and let me want to talk about it. So, uh, my question uh, uh, is uh, how to get yourself out of poverty line with no budget. The way I followed, uh, basically what I did is I worked hard on building good credit in my, uh, in my country. So, I received a tight budget, uh, I received a tight, a tight check and what I did is uh, I managed the check properly so I, I did I did uh, keep uh, my credit in good condition my credit card paid uh, uh, minimum payment paid uh, I kept uh, my bills paid uh, during three four years after that after my credit card was maxed I got the chance to uh, uh, increase my in credit card so because I had good standard uh, what I did is I used it to um, to start a new uh, online businesses. Uh, basically, I didn't have the skills or the money to learn uh, programming languages or uh, to be able, uh, you know, uh, to hire people or all kinds of things. So. Uh, the true question is what I did uh, to get to have plan to get myself out of poverty line. Uh, I started to learn programming language for over 14 months. Like I just learning all, all, all required programming languages for websites and apps. Uh, I started to create websites and apps. I started to uh, create useful tools uh, to help other entrepreneurs. Uh, to uh, uh, promote your their website online, uh, basically what you need to do is uh, after you learn uh, the, the required uh, uh, languages uh, and programming, you will be able to uh, start create uh, websites, apps, uh, you know, online businesses. So, what other choices did I have? So, as you know, like in Canada, uh, to go to university is not free. So, other choices I had, like to go to get student loan and, uh, you know, uh, learn program languages and start and then start my own businesses. Uh, this will cost me like, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, and learning education that is uh, easy to learn in through the internet and is free as well. So uh, I, I I don't think that uh, uh, the university is useful to, to get a job. Like personally, I don't like get job because after I get the work injury, I I, I quit from my uh, job and started the the business uh, what I'm doing now. So uh, what I'm telling you is I, I totally. Uh, 
uh, disagree like uh, uh, about people who, who who are thinking they must uh, go to university for uh, opening online businesses uh, uh, and study all kind of uh, courses and put themselves uh, in debt and at the end they don't get the chance to pay their, their debt if they find a job with different uh, field uh, they take uh, things that are not necessarily and very uh, available and and in our today's and and, and, and and the internet uh, you can get whatever you want through the internet so you can have a uh, good channels learning i did do a video about how to open how to create online businesses uh, i will i will try to leave it in the link section below as well guys you need to focus on how uh, uh, can you uh, uh, balance uh, between your personal life and you know getting yourself out of private line as i said if you're on private line you don't have much choices so you must work your ass to the top like you must work seven days a week just to work your business because if you want to have online businesses i will have this news for you my friend nine out of ten businesses do fail so don't be uh, among nine out of ten so you will have only one percent chance so this one percent you must work hard to be able to become to become among one percent so yeah you don't have much choices you need to work hard and then after uh, what 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 at the university say they do say uh, after you get the job after you get you know very good university you get, and then you find a, a job i assure you many people they switch uh, because they don't have uh, choices they don't have uh, jobs in their fields and so much hustle uh, to uh, work in other countries yeah uh, you see a lot of challenges like you know the treatment of other countries and and more but I said the the choices here is uh, how to start uh, your online business from profit line, and you need to focus on learning programming languages uh, and select the right skills for you. Like for example, what kind of skills do you guys uh, uh, do you have in you? Like are you are you artist? So if you have an art art uh, skills, you can sell your art service uh, on, on, on Fiverr or, or, or other uh, freelance websites. Let's say if you're a writer, if you like write blogs or write books or whatever, you can, you can, you can sell uh, these skills in, 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 uh, in, uh, in Fiverr as well or other uh, freelance website. So uh, as I said, try to focus on developing your personal skills and yourself. This is what is important, develop your skills and promote or sell it online this best way to get yourself out of poverty line uh, I will link some uh, le uh, links in the section below uh, you know just you know if you visit could help you to improve your knowledge uh, this only talk show so uh, tell, tell I smoke marijuana so that's it for now so it's not not much to talk about anymore uh, uh, and there will be more interesting video in the future so don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video bye